I feel very festive today because it's the middle of December and Christmas is coming soon. Let's look back uh, at 2017. I know it's not over yet, but you know, the product, makeup, we can already make an accumulation of what we liked and didn't like. But we're gonna talk about only favorites. Something that I have discovered throughout the, during the 2017, something I liked and have been using. So yeah, let's start with the body care. Now, the Bioderma shower oil has been a discovery. I loved it, I used it. And yeah, that was my discovery of 2017, loving it. I'm not going to exactly um, review the products because we all know these products and I have reviewed them throughout the year, many times, some, many times. Okay, the Botanics uh, Rose Toner Spritz, amazing product. I'm using it all the time since August. Definitely, definitely something that I would keep and use throughout the whole next year. So yeah, this is my favorite. This is something I use all the time, especially now in winter when it's like heating in the house, no? Now, the La Roche-Posay Cerosing Spray. Also serves for a toner and I've been using it, especially in summer when I had a irritation of the skin. Everybody who was uh, following me knows that uh, my skin has been going on through complicated phases so I've been using this one and it helped me a lot and actually I keeping it also just in case so I have some little bit of irritation on my skin or some rash or you can use it on your kids it's definitely a very good product to you to have and that was the scar of 2017 now, the Kiehl's Pure Vitality Skin Renewing Cream. Oh, that was really a magic cream. I'm so happy I discovered it. I discovered it, I think, sometime in April last year, and that's been my favorite. It's still my favorite, it's going to be my favorite. I'm gonna use it all winter. I'm using it throughout the whole year, so yeah, that's been the 2017 staple. Now, um, this Nipless Fab Drag, not this one, sorry, because they look the same, but the favorite one was also Nipless Fab Glycolic Fix Daily Clean Cleansing Pads. Talked about these cleansing pads, they're amazing. I love glycolic acid. I think it's a, it's a natural exfoliator. It just makes your skin so radiant, clean, bright, glycolic acid. I love it. Sounds very scary, glycolic acid, but it's a mild thing. Glycolic acid, what it does? It's retextures and resurfaces, exactly. So yeah, talking about glycolic acid, this babe, oh, that is just really, if I have to choose one facial product that I love the most and was happy to discover that would be this by SkinCeuticals Red Texturing Activator. I think I've been talking about this product for the past, in my three last videos. So yeah, if you're interested about this product, get back to them. Amazing product, has 20% glycolic acid, completely retextures your complexion. Now, more glamorous makeup. We still continue with the body. This is the Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. This is the shimmering body oil, okay? This is something that I simply adored. I loved it since the moment I saw it. It has a coconut smell, a scent in here, and it just makes your skin shimmery and just this golden shimmer. It's just amazing, especially for summer, but I actually, went to the party yesterday and I used it um, all over my decolleté and it looked just amazing. Um, yeah, still using it in winter. I mean, they're festive um, weeks these days, so basically this is a product throughout the whole year to use. Yeah, amazing. 
Now, the Discover 2017, quite recent, but definitely Discover and favorite, the Cushion Foundation by Clarence. This one is so good. Yeah, using it all the time, carrying in my cosmetic bag, basically my best friend these days. Yeah. Okay, now the Zodiac and Voltaire for her perfume. This is a small bottle. Um, I actually have the new still not open standing there. Vanilla smell with the bamboo and it's just there's so many beautiful and warm and sweet and a bit spicy notes in this perfume. I've been wearing it all summer and um, right now I switch for another perfume but this has been like really discovered and it's going to be my favorite until they discontinue it. So I come out there. Yeah. Now, the makeup. Surprisingly, not so many things. I haven't really discovered a lot of things. So, we start with the number one discovery that has been my favorite for such, basically the whole year. I mean, I don't think I went through even one week without reaching for this product and that would be MAC. This uh, lip and cheek color in We Can Get Away, the creamy, I don't think you see the dent in here in the middle, but I've been using like a lot, so yeah, it's like, like hole getting there. Probably I'm gonna hit the pan soon. I'm gonna, I should try um, using it like on the side, so it's not like, you know, yeah. So beautiful product, makes your cheek, I'm having it right now on my face, makes your cheeks pink, rosy, you, you, it's just so fast to look fresh with this um, lip color, lip cheek and lip color. I use it on the lips as well sometimes. But right now I have my favorite of 2017. This is the pencil by NYX in, um, what is the color? Like this pasty pale, it's called pale pink. Nothing fancy, it's just pale pink. Right now I have it on my lips. And well, on top I have a little, some lipstick, more pink lipstick. This is like very pasty color and I love it. I love it in the summer. I like it in winter because I love the cool, cool toned um, makeup in winter, especially. So yeah, this is a good one. The... Um, Brow Builder from Sephora, oh, has been my discovery. I've been using throughout the whole year. Yeah, it has like a, a wand with the fiber in it and it just makes your brows so fast and so easy. Very, you know, not bushy, but like, <laughs> it's not the word. But I mean, if you don't have like a lot of brows, that will kind of make the your brows more voluminous or like looking like you have a lot of brows. I like it and it's good fixture as well. And I don't need the pencil when I use it. This pretty much enough. Right now actually I don't have anything, so nothing to be compared with. Oh. Now, the three pencils from H&M. It doesn't really matter what color it is, but what matters is the texture. It's eye color to go. Okay, my favorites were this green in um, Treasure Hunt. I've worn it the whole summer. It's the most beautifully amazing, fantastic, many descriptive words can be used. It's like a goldish, bronzy green. It's like ake green. It's just, oh, didn't really make it right. I don't know, I've used it, you can really, like all these colors, you can sort of smudge it all over your eye and have it very sheer or you can intensify as a line. I've used it in so many ways and I've been wearing it a lot. This is like the shorter than anyone, than any of this. Okay, this one also fantastic. It's like a taupey beige. This was my base for every nude look I have, uh, I've made throughout the year. It's like a matte 
you see so uh, I honestly think if you are into this like nude looks makeup and you like a nice nude um, eye look definitely get this uh, eye pencil it's uh, just the most amazing base for any beige brownish taupey um, color on top it will intensify the color and it's just it's an amazing canvas to build up the look amazing unfortunately there is no name to it but I'm going to uh, write down uh, below the video the name of this pencil you can see this is a uh, nice this is a 2017 discovery these pencils completely I got them actually not in 2017 but I didn't really get to use them in 2016 and I only started uh, really kind of getting into this uh, and using them all the time in 2017 and this one is this bronzy beautiful color I just put it all over my lid and here it is and with a black mascara you need nothing more and it's from H&M so it's perfect the last one and that would be the eyeshadows and there's something with the light I feel like the Sun is just jumping like this up and down and it's just okay obviously the Sun cannot really jump but so this for um, colors from Essence over the taupe in number seven loved it I used it for such a long time basically every time I wanted something gray I would reach for them because look at this first of all the quality is amazing I don't know how Essence does it I mean the price is really ridiculous for the quality for the like this is um matte sort of satin matte this is as well but this is this is like on the shimmery side and this is as well but they're not that shimmery you know i don't really like very shimmery eyeshadows unless i really want to go for a shimmery look normally i like this matte satin finish it just glides nicely on the eyes and these are amazing yeah you cannot see but this gray is like really and the last one these are the uh, cotton is with is from a the Japanese cotton it's there from the shop called uh, Muji I believe a lot of people know this brand it's like an organic brand and they have lots of stuff candles essence like everything that you use in the house for the clothes all those little containers that I have whatever I need something little like a box or whatever it's plenty of things and they have this cotton it's like organic it's so soft is the softest thing to your skin so after this I just cannot use anything else this is my yeah, cotton pads or how you call them discovery of 2017 and that's it okay I'm dressed in the jumper that I've been wearing for the whole 2017 I bought it in 2016 in December but I've been wearing it whole winter 2017 and this is my white hat that I also got in 2017 so I decided to put it on and also I look like a Santa <laughs> that was the idea see you next week hopefully if I don't see you next week it means we're gonna meet in January Merry Christmas if I don't see you and if I see you next week um, okay to be continued bye bye <laughs>